In today's video, we are going to be taking you down the Great Ocean Road and all the way to the Twelve Apostles, stopping at some of the most popular spots to show you guys around the area. But first, we've stopped at one uh, lighthouse. So we're going to be climbing the lighthouse. How do you feel about that? Feel great. Feel great? You ready for the lighthouse? Yeah. All right, so this is the lighthouse. Now, you need to pay $10 each to do a express tour. Yeah. Ladies first. Mm, you want to see I don't want to see your butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last time you did that, I got demonetized. Oh, yeah, be careful. All right, so we're going up the top. You ready to go outside? Okay. <laughs> you really trying to get me demonetized swearing? Oh, sorry. Alright. Let's go check out this view, guys. Wow. What? Why? <laughs> I'm going this way. What happened? The light. Huh? Okay. Can jump on this one. Don't do that. It's so safe. How are you feeling? Look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Check out this view from the top. This is worth it to come up here. Check this place out. So we're going to be driving all along that coast through the Great Ocean Road to the Twelve Apostles. It's gonna take about an hour's drive from here. So even if you don't pay to come up to the top of the lighthouse, they've got all these lookouts. You can come, you can see all the different lookouts overlooking the beach. It's just a fun thing to do, to come up here. I think we can climb up there to the light. Oh, Why? When you say that climb, my leg take home, like, <laughs> shit, like, You're about to start crawling? Yeah. Size are uh, scared of heights. We have just stopped at Cafe Koala General Store at Kennet River. Now, the interesting thing about this place is you can actually go and see koalas up that river, up that road there. So we'll eat first and then we'll um, go and check out some koalas. They've got this uh, little garden you can sit in. We can sit over here together, I think. I think uh, picnic blanket, so I will be happy. Oh, yeah. Eat on the floor. Yeah. So we almost made it to the Twelve Apostles, but Sai was hungry, so we had to stop. But the good uh, thing about stopping here is you can see the koalas. And it's got a nice place to come and sit. So we've ordered two bacon and egg rolls, so we'll see how they come out. Do you feel like bacon? Yeah. Sai um, always feels like bacon. Okay, but I'm excited to see parents. Like, it's 100% we're going to see it. Yeah, yeah, that's why everyone's stopping. Yummy. Yeah, Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah. <gasps> when you said it was a wrap, when she said it was a wrap, I thought it was like a wrap. It's a burger. You happy with your burger? Oh look at this, this is like how I prefer my bacon. This is how I prefer. Not crispy, not all undercooked, but just enough. It's like, oh, I'm gonna eat it now. Oh, the egg's coming out. Oh, no, 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 Oh, come this way then. Good. 
the best. Pass the test. Satisfied. Yeah, so definitely a cool uh, place to stop by. You can sit out in front of this little caravan, they got all the chairs. And good bacon and egg burgers. Sai approves. Just from the left of the Cafe Koala, you walk up this street here and you can see this sign. Koalas this way. So let's go see if we can uh, find a little koala. That bacon and egg roll was one of the best I ever had. It's on a brioche bun, so it was like buttery and had like a fresh like tomato relish, like homemade one. Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, runny. Damn. You gotta come and eat that bacon and egg roll for sure. It's worth it. When you say roll, I was thinking about like a tortilla. And man, egg and bacon. I was like, uh, but then I opened up and I was like, hamburger? One point. Those two trees. So stay away from the left side. Just stay away from the long grass. <laughs> yeah, right. Straight up the middle of the road. All right. Thank you so much. So we come for the koalas. We might see a brown snake if we're lucky. He just warned us. He's like, don't go near the long grass because we, a big brown snake just uh, crossed the road. Did you see the snake? No, I just got warned about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> I love cola, but I don't think it's worth it to get myself in trouble. The brown snake is like the, one of the most deadly in the world. Ooh, let's go see a koala over here and then we come back. Yeah. Alright, so here's the koala here, but he's faced the other way. Yeah. You just don't see it? There. It's a fat, oh, fluffy booty. Yeah, <laughs> you see he's a fluffy booty. We've arrived to the 12 Apostles Lookout, so it's uh, about a 15 minute walk, 15 to 30 minutes, one kilometer round trip. So it took us about an hour and a half to get here. Sai is enjoying her cookies. I made this cookie. <laughs> She's proud of her cookies. All right, let's start this walk. You know what the 12 Apostles are? No. You never seen it before? What is 12 Apostles? There's like 12 rocks, but there's not 12 anymore. Most of them fall down in the water. So it's like six, I think. We'll see. What is this place called? The, the Great Ocean Road? Great Ocean Road. The Great Ocean Road. Yeah. You know, yesterday I went to the Ocean Road, but on the way here, now I know it I think it should be like the greatest ocean road. The greatest the ocean road, yeah. yeah. There's definitely like, there's no words how cool this uh, drive is. Through the mountains, you go like on the coast, then through the mountain. And why do so many helicopters? Because they do like uh, helicopter tours over the top of the buses. Wow, it's so cool when you like the helicopter landing and you jump up like, wow. But now we're gonna get in. <gasps> it's like this way. way. Good. Is that the rock? Yeah. Yeah. These are the twelve apostles. But you can see there's a few fallen down. A few didn't make it.
Look at that. Crazy. How beautiful is that? Worth the drive? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that coastline. And size si cold again. Cold. Cold. How can you be cold? It's a sunny day. All right, so after here, we've got a few more spots. A few more spots? Yeah. A few more spots to see a bit further down the coast. So we'll just see that one more time. So there used to be 12, but not anymore. So just at the back of the car park is where you can get the helicopter rides if you want to go on a helicopter. The size, not about the helicopters. She's super scared of helicopters. So, twelve apostles, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. You like it? All right, next destination, Lockhart Gorge. It's a quite busy few people to so have a look where we're going. We're gonna go down to the sand. Alright this is uh, called the Lockhart Gorge and you can see it's got like uh, these mountains protecting the water here. It reminds me a little bit of like a small Maya Bay. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was Yeah, from the say. beach. Yeah. But if this was Thailand, it would be all uh, long tail yeah. boats on the sand here. Yeah, maybe, maybe boats over there and, the long, and people swimming over here. Yeah, but this place is yeah definitely incredible. I reckon if you come here like early in the morning and you had this place to yourself, it would be so yeah. nice. And it is colder than this. What are you so freezing? Like, you don't want to jump You're freezing. It's warm. It's cold. It's definitely not cold. It's cold. The wind's got a bit of a uh, bite to it. but got uh, a little bit of teeth in it. Yeah, a little bit of teeth. <laughs> but everything else is good. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Sai. I get her to take it, she's better. <laughs> yeah, girls always take it better. Take it so long. Yeah, yeah, her. Almost. Almost got the wet shoes. Alright, so size the photographer. This is like a pro tip, guys. Whenever you see someone with a good camera and you want to get a photo, you ask the person with the good camera to take the photo for you. Don't just ask any random people. I was telling them the trick. What? When you want someone to take your photo, Looking look for someone holding the camera. Look for someone with a good camera. Yeah. Some experience of crawling around. Yeah. Or oh, ask Asian to do it. Asian do it the best. We always had so many photos with our like head cut off and miss. Yeah. He cut your head off. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at these uh, cliffs here. All around. It's a bit of a cave back there. Goes out to the water. This is the largest. It's called uh, the Razorback. Yeah. How big it is. 
This one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit longer than that. So this is like definitely like the most impressive one, close up, because you can get so close to it. They don't look like boobies, so I think this one looks like boobies, the one over there. In Thailand, anything that look like that, they're gonna call it like. Wrong names, inappropriate names. Like grandma boobies out Like Colan. The grandpa and grandma rock. Samui. Oh, Samui, yeah. So you can actually see like where it went out further, where it's eroded the way. See where the waves are crashing? That's how far it used to go out. But over time, the water has eroded it away. They say one, one wave comes every 14 seconds. Two more spots to go. Size so losing energy. You keep saying two more spots every time. We two keep more finding spots. more and more rocks. But uh, the next one is called the London Bridge. Ooh. But the London Bridge fell down. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it was the London Bridge, but uh, now it just. Now it's broken. Yeah, you'll see. Oh, no. I think I saw this one. What did we do there? <laughs> Have a look down here. All right, here's the London Bridge. So it used to be connected. But uh, yeah, it fell down around 1990. Remember, when I was in school and that fell down. It was big news. Oh really? Yeah, wow. everyone was sad. 1990. Yeah. 1990. Yeah. You in school? 1990. Of course. My mom and dad have a big shopping. I already had girlfriend. <laughs> All right, last spot, the grotto. Last spot, I promise. Why are you doing that for the grotto? What is grotto? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the, if it was the last one, it was only Are you happy it's the last one? Let's go away! <laughs> Sai just wants the food. Hey, wait. I just told you to walk, I didn't oh. tell you to just strip. Okay. <laughs> This is the grotto, our last destination. I think this is my favorite. For the day. Why is it your favorite? I don't know. They have the cave and look at the wall. I think it's, yeah, I think it's like good because you can get so close to this one. Yeah. Whereas the other ones, so far. you're far back. And then, you know what? I want to swim in there. You want to swim in there? You have to do that during the week when no one's here. On weekends, no chance, too busy. So what did you think of the trip to the Great Ocean Road and Twelve Apostles? I'm going to name the new name the greatest ocean She's labelled it the greatest ocean road. <laughs> yeah, definitely guys, if you're coming out yeah. to Australia, yeah. this is a bucket list. I see that this is like the one time opportunity that you have to be doing. It's, it, 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 you enjoy the ride, you just enjoy the weather, the view, the water, the breeze and everything. Yeah. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna wrap up today's video. We hope you're enjoying the Australian videos. Until next time, dream bigger, much sooner. Peace. <laughs>